Today I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of noise in your images using some groundbreaking techniques. I might have exaggerated a little bit with the groundbreaking. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. We are going to show you how to get rid of some noise in your images. We're actually editing Curtis's image. He submitted his image this week, or sorry, last week in the square crop edit. So this is Curtis's images. It's a great image and I'm going to show you guys some really cool tricks on what you can do to reduce noise. We're going to do it in several different ways. All right, let's get into the episode. So we've got this image of a girl holding a lantern in the fog, which um, I just, I have a theory that if you want to create a great image, just make sure there's plenty of fog in it and, and a lantern and a, and a girl. Just everything you can, you can do for a great image is already in this picture. Um, it's really great and I love the colors and uh, there's not much that I don't like about it. Um, zooming in, we can see that there's a lot of grain going on in this image, um, which tells me a couple things. One is that the, uh, the sensor used uh, for, to take this image is probably wasn't the largest sensor. Um, this doesn't really look like a full frame image, um, but you can create images without shooting full frame images. You don't need the most expensive cameras out there to still create a great image. And I think this is one of those cases in which we can prove that uh, even you know with the less expensive camera, you can make a great image. Um, but you are gonna suffer from things like noise, especially uh, like the color noise and uh, all kinds of little bits of blotches and things like that. So a lot of people wanna know how to fix it. I'm gonna show you guys some great ways to do so in Photoshop. Now, I don't really wanna um, change anything with my background layer. So I'm gonna click on my background layer and hit Command J. That's going to just duplicate that layer. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, kinda analyze the noise and what kind of noise we have. We have quite a bit of color noise. You can see it here. Um, there's just all kinds of different colors that are kinda popping up. A lot of reds in places um, that they really shouldn't be. And we do have some light and dark noise as well. Little like spots and things like that. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you guys how to do is uh, to take care of color noise and um, it's a really cool technique that actually I, I just came up with not too long ago. So what you're going to do is on your layer go to filter and then go down here to blur and then you're going to go over to surface blur. Now what a surface blur does is it basically takes your edges into account when creating a blur on your photo. So it, it tries to not um, blur the actual edges. And you can see here what it's doing is kind of like figuring out you know, how much of a blur it's gonna be. So your radius is the blur, like how much blur is going to happen. In this case, I would recommend using a relatively high uh, radius. Now your threshold is basically how much is, this, is it gonna let through. So a lower threshold will mean that it's not gonna blur as much and a higher threshold means that it's going to, it's going to affect the image a lot more. There we go, you can see in areas such as that um, what it's doing. Let's bring that down a little bit. Okay, and hit okay. Now this is uh, basically completely useless for almost every reason uh, right now because you know it, it just looks horrible in every way. And that's not a huge deal because we're gonna change something about that's gonna make it actually really great. So we're gonna change this layer blend mode now from normal down here to color. All right, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna get rid of all of our color noise. So zooming in here, we can see turning that off and on, it's getting rid of all of the color noise. And the reason it is, is because it kind of, it takes the information that's in your photo. And let's say you have like a little bit of red and like a little blue next to it with all that noise. It kind of blends those all together. And so using the surface blur, it blends those all together and then setting it back to colors just says, okay, you know, instead of like being red and green and blue and all these little specks everywhere, just put that blur as the color. So we can see here, um, just turning this off and on, especially, uh, as I zoom in, you can see it really does take a lot of that color noise out of there. Now, if it affects any areas uh, too much, you can just stop, put a layer mask on it. Let's say, you know, here where the lantern is, we can just put a layer mask on there and say, you know what, I like the original color that was going on with, with that lantern there. Okay, but it does take, a care of, take care of a lot of our color noise, which is great. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a stamp visible layer and put this over top of everything. So. I'm gonna hit Shift Option Command N, which creates a new layer, Shift Option Command E, and that's a stamp visible layer. Now we're gonna use another one of my favorite filters. We're gonna to go to Filter, we're gonna to go to Noise, and I'm gonna to go to Dust and Scratches. Um, I find this works a little bit better than the uh, standard, um, you know, like uh, Reduce Noise filter. So again, here, we can choose things like our radius, how much it's actually going to blur, and we can also th choose our threshold. Now I'm gonna choose my radius 
up a little bit and um, our threshold I think is looks great just as it is. So what we've got now is basically the same idea. Um, it's gotten rid of most of our, so this one got rid of our color noise. This is getting rid of the differences uh, between light and dark. And you can see it's, you know, it's much, it's a, it's much more clear. Um, you know what, actually I'm gonna just do it a little bit higher radius. So we're gonna go to filter again, blur, sorry, noise and uh, dust and scratches again. I'm just gonna choose a slightly higher radius there we go, which is gonna put a little bit more blur in there. So using a higher radius like this, what you can do now is uh, just kind of knock down your opacity a little bit. There we go, so we get most of the effect and uh, we can see it is looking pretty good. And then what I would do with this, and this is not gonna work for every single image uh, exactly this, so this is why I'm showing you guys several techniques. You can combine them together in your own way to get the best result for your, for your own images. All right. Um, now what I'm going to do is just kind of use my layer mask here and paint black on some of these areas that I, I don't really want this filter to be visible. So especially in an image like this where you have some areas, uh, you know, that have quite a bit of detail that we actually do need to pres preserve, like interface, um, you can take care of those areas, just lower the opacity a little bit more, you can take care of those areas using a layer mask just to make sure that those areas do you know, still have all the detail you need, um, while the rest of the photo, for the most part, will not really be affected by noise. Um, yeah, and this looks pretty good. So keep in mind, if, um, if your image, it, it captures a lot of noise, you know, light and dark specs and different color specs, um, you're not really gonna be able to get all that out there with just, without destroying any information because that is the information that's, that, that's in there. So um, if you are trying to reduce noise in your image, these are some techniques you can use, but you are gonna be taking a little bit of information out of your image. All right, let's do a new layer on top of everything. And here at the end, what we're gonna do, we'll try the reduce noise. So filter, we're gonna go to noise and then down here to reduce noise. Okay. And we've got a nice little dialog box here. Now, reduce noise is nice. I like to do it at the end because it's um, you can choose how hard you want the your strength of the noise reduction to be, and you can even choose how much you want to preserve the details. So this is where I would, you know, um, areas like our subject's face, I would um, I would recommend using this reduce noise on top of everything else. All right, let's try bumping up the strength. And you can even see it says reduce color noise, but I think the other uh, technique that we just showed you actually works a little bit better. All right, and let's pump up preserve the details. So you can see the preview basically shows you the before and the after. There we go. And as I have preserved details turned up, it actually does less, which is really interesting um, because it, it's trying to preserve those details. And we can see that you know, when you do have details trying to be preserved, it's just like, <laughs> if there's only so much information there and it's like trying to reduce the noise, but it needs to keep some of it, it's, it's gonna wind up not doing much at all. So let's bring that down until it actually does something. There we go. And we can see just by clicking and moving it around, there's the before and after. Um, and again, guys, this is one of those things where you're gonna lose a little bit of definition, but uh, it's just gonna be like, how much definition can you tolerate to, to lose? Okay, so this, at, you know, let's not be at 200% zoom. Um, there we can see we have lost a little bit of definition, but I still think we definitely have enough. So here at, you know, like a 25% zoom, I think we have quite a bit of our original definition. I'm just holding on the alt and the holding on alter option, clicking on our original. Um, I think we have still enough information to where you really do get across what's going on in the image. Let's zoom in to this area here where we see like the lantern and the fog and everything like that. Let's go group all those layers and look at the before and after. So this is before any noise removal. We can see all the colors and the splotchiness and light and dark and after the noise removal. So again, before and after. And I think it really is quite a significant difference. We did lose a little bit of image quality, but not enough to where it really just completely ruined the image. Let's see here in like the light. This is where you'll notice it too, like big light areas. So there's the before and the after. I think it looks great. And then really the areas that you got to watch out for, uh, areas like a face. So again, we lost a little bit of definition there. If you want to just put a layer mask on that whole group and kind of paint away just slightly to get 
your definition back on like the eyes and lips, I think that doing little, little areas like that will help. And uh, now we have, for the most part, the definition that we want and our noise is gone. So that's the tutorial for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you want your image edited on Flurn, submit them in our weekly contest. Guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. Have a great day. I'll Flurn you later. Bye, everyone. There were enough bloopers in that to last a lifetime. Blooper Central.